Hello, friends. I'm Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team. Welcome to Circle Time. We are so excited to see you today. And I'm here with my friend, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Caroline. Hi, friends. It's so great to see you for Circle Time with Khan Academy Kids today. I am really excited to see what we have in store. What are we thinking about today, Caroline? We are thinking about school because this time of year, lots of you are either going back to school or learning at home or going to daycare. So we thought we would read a book about starting school. Starting School by Cynthia Platt. It was the first day of school and Flamingo was excited and nervous. After all, he didn't know any of the other birds. He had no idea what to expect when he got there. When he arrived, his teacher was greeting the students. Flamingo didn't know where to look first. There were birds everywhere. It was a little overwhelming. Hmm, that's a big word, overwhelming. What does that mean, Caroline? When something makes you feel a little bit nervous or unsure, I think Flamingo was overwhelmed because there were so many new friends, new birds at school, and probably a lot of things to do too. Hmm, that makes sense. The new birds he met were so talented. During morning meeting, Nightingale sang every note beautifully. Flamingo did not. Oh no, poor Flamingo. Can you see there, Caroline? Nightingale is singing in tune and Flamingo is saying honk, honk, honk. Mm-hmm. Flamingo looks a little bit worried. Yeah. During art, Bowerbird made an impressive sculpture. Flamingo did not. During science, Crow completed the experiment perfectly. Flamingo did not. The first day of school was not going well. Finally, it was time for the last class of the day. Flamingo thought P.E. would be the worst of all. Then his teacher started playing music. They were all going to dance. Flamingo was excited to start, but he felt shy because no one else was dancing yet. Then he began to move his head to the music. Soon enough, Flamingo was doing his best fancy footwork. Oh. The other birds started asking Flamingo to teach them some of his moves. Flamingo was surprised. These birds seemed so good at everything. All around him, his new friends were asking for help and receiving it. Maybe it was okay not to be good at everything. Maybe Flamingo could ask for help too. By the time Flamingo flew home, he wasn't feeling as worried about school anymore. On the second day of school, he knew what to expect. Flamingo was ready to have fun and learn from his new friends. What a great story, friends. Do you remember how Flamingo felt on his first day of school before he got there? Hmm. Did Flamingo feel excited? Mm -hmm. I think Flamingo was excited. And also, do you remember he had another feeling? Maybe a little bit nervous? I think so. Because he didn't know any of the other friends and didn't know what to expect. Friends, how do you feel about going to school? 
Well, some of our friends feel really, really excited. They want to go and make new friends and meet their teacher and do all the different activities that you do at school. Uh, so a few of our friends are saying they feel excited. Um, some of our friends feel a little bit nervous, just like Flamingo. That could be they feel a bit worried about leaving their playroom at home and going to a new playroom at school. And what will that playroom be like and who will be there and what will they do? That's, that's a little bit of a worry for some of our friends. I think those feelings are all very normal because there's lots of new things at school and that's also how you learn about things. It's trying new things, meeting new friends. But it's very normal to feel a little bit nervous and a little bit excited. Yeah, and one of the other things that I think happened with Flamingo was when Flamingo got to school, there were so many things happening and there were some friends at school that were very, very good at some things. Do you remember? So in the class of birds, there were some that were very good at doing science experiments. Nightingales were very good at singing in tune. And Flamingo felt a little bit sad, maybe. A little bit worried, maybe not good enough that Flamingo wasn't the best at everything. And I think it's important to give things a try at school. And you don't need to be the best at everything. There are going to be so many friends at school who have all different talents and it'll be fun to meet them all and learn from them, won't it, Caroline? Exactly. Nobody can be the best at everything. And it's actually fun to try new things, even though sometimes it's a little bit scary. Yeah, so what are some of the things that you all are looking forward to doing at school? Hmm. Some of our friends are looking forward to having circle time at school. <laughs> So that's when they will sit in a circle and maybe read a story or play a game with all of their friends at school. That sounds fun. And some of our friends are looking forward to doing some craft and making things at school. And hmm, one of our friends is excited about eating their lunch at school. We used to eat our lunch at home and now we might get to eat our lunch at school. That would be fun. There are so many different things that we can do at school, learning and playing and making new friends. It's a lot. Yeah, and one of my friends was saying that at their school, their teacher tells them sometimes to do a brain break. Do you know what that is? Ooh, let me ask our friends. Hmm, it seems like, Caroline, we have some friends who have been to school before and they said that sometimes when we're really busy learning and thinking, maybe writing our name or reading a story or doing some art, sometimes, our teacher will help us take a break from all that work our brains are doing. And that break is to help us just recharge a little bit and get our energy back. And sometimes it will be about moving our bodies and it might be about taking deep breaths and yeah, our teacher might call it a brain break or something else. And it's a really nice time to just pause in the school day. So our friends at Allo Yoga have some really good ideas on how to take a brain break by moving your body and doing some yoga. So we are going to say hello to our friends at Allo Yoga. Hi, friends. Hi, I'm Calvin. 
This class is called Total Body Scan. So a lot of times we kind of pay attention to other things going around. We look around when we're sitting in class, when we're walking around. So this class is just really cool to kind of check in with what's actually going on with us. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start and just take your feet nice and wide and have your legs straight and then just fold forward and take your arms over to either leg. And so get a little stretch in the back of your leg and just kind of slow your breathing. And just kind of relax into it. And then instead of kind of worrying about what's going on around you in the room or in general, we're gonna kind of pay attention to specific parts of our body. So as you stretch in your right leg, pay attention to the feeling in the back of your leg where you're getting a little bit of stretch going on. And notice maybe you're a little bit tight there and you feel a lot of stretch, maybe not that much stretch, but pay attention to what's going on in the back of the leg. And then we're gonna go ahead and just switch sides. So you go over to your other leg and you can pay attention to the other side, the back of the leg. Then take a couple breaths here. And then we're gonna come back to the first side. And now that you've kind of paid attention to the back of the leg, pay attention to your feet and see if you can press your toes down into the floor while you stretch the back of the leg. And be nice and strong with the toes and just feel them press down into your shoes or into the floor. And then let's come back to the other leg. So the other foot, just press the toes down, feel like your foot really presses down into the floor. And then come on back to the center and stand up. So now that you've got a little bit of stretch in the back of your leg, take your feet just a little bit closer and turn your right leg out. And then turn your left foot in a little bit, keeping your legs straight. And you're gonna take your right hand down on your leg and just touch your shin. If you're a little bit less flexible, you can touch above the knee. If you're more flexible, you can touch the foot. And then reach your left arm up. So we call this pose triangle pose because of the shape of the legs. And since we paid attention to our foot and the back of the leg in the last one, really reach your left arm up to the ceiling and see if you can pay attention to what it feels like just to really reach through the left arm and get really high through the arm. And as you do that and you pay attention to that left arm, just take a couple breaths and see if you can be real strong as you reach that left arm up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna stand all the way up. And once you stand up, turn your right foot in and turn your left leg out. And again, you have a nice triangle with your legs, your legs are straight, and then your left hand can go just above your knee or you can go on your shin or some of you on the foot and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And then really pay attention to what's going on in that right arm. So reach the hand up like you really wanna to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. And take a couple breaths while you're here, just paying attention to the hand more than anything else. So reach up through the top arm, and we'll just take one more breath here. And then you're gonna stand all the way up. And from here, step your feet together. And so we paid attention to the hands and the feet and the back of the legs, and now we're gonna pay attention to your arms in a, in a pose called chair pose. So you're just gonna bend your knees a little bit and reach your arms really high to the ceiling. And then you're gonna try to be really strong with the top of your arms, so as you reach up, Pay attention to what's going on there, and you'll feel like the muscles are working a little bit, and it's maybe even a little bit harder to breathe, but be nice and strong with the arms, and really try to pay attention to that instead of what else is going on around you. And maybe even bend your legs a little more if you want, and if you need a little breather, you can take your arms down totally. And then we're just gonna come back up for like two more breaths. And then you're gonna stand all the way up and release your arms. So we're gonna take a couple breaths here. So with your eyes closed, take a really deep breath in your nose and sigh it out your mouth. And then we're gonna do that one more time. So take a really deep breath in your nose and sigh it out your mouth and then open your eyes. So if you ever feel like you're a little bit overwhelmed or there's just a lot of stuff going on around you, maybe do one of these poses and try to just pay attention to what's going on inside of you to take you out of that moment and it will really calm you down. Wow, that was so much fun moving our bodies and pausing for a minute to stop and breathe deeply and reset. I loved that brain break. Thank you to our friends at Allo Yoga for helping us do that.
Yeah, it helps us feel calm and relaxed and ready to do the next thing. And here on Circle Time, our next thing is show and tell. Our first show and tell is Alice. Friends, can you see this drawing that she is sharing with all of you? Oh, wow. It looks like Alice is showing us Alice's drawing of the Khan Academy kids characters. And it's not just one character, it's lots of characters. I can see Cody and I can see Olo and Brea and Peck. Yes, what a nice job she did on drawing all of the characters and also coloring them. Hmm. Great job, Alice. And our next show and tell is Harvey. And Harvey used one of our printables and colored a science lab. Wow. Well, this is awesome, Harvey. So a science lab might be a place where we do some experiments, usually with a grown-up about how different things might go together and what happens when we put mix some things and run experiments. And it looks like Harvey has drawn this very complicated experiment or colored it in. That's great, Harvey. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Harvey. And this photo was from Olivia. And it looks like she is drawing something that you all may have seen before. Olivia is, well, I can see Olivia might be watching some circle time. And on circle time, maybe there are some musical instruments. And one cool thing is that Olivia is drawing a drum, it looks like, with some drumsticks and even some little lines that maybe show the sound that the drum is making. That's very clever, Olivia. Mm hmm And all of these things, the science experiment, the drawing, these are things that you might do at school too. And here's another one. Here's some writing that you also might do at school. And this note is from Shreya. Friends, can you help us read? what Shreya wrote on her writing page? Hmm. Well, one of our friends can help us. They're saying that Shreya said, Happy birthday, Cody. You are the best. You teach me so much, Shreya. Wow, that is a fantastic message. Thank you for sending it to us. And here's another drawing from Vidyu, and it is a road safety drawing. So some of you may be taking a bus or a car to school, or maybe walking to school, and it looks like his drawing might have some tips for us. Wow, thank you Vidyu, this is so helpful. So it looks like some of our friends are walking to school, maybe with a grown up, and they are using the crossing and they're waiting for the cars to stop at the crossing. They're looking both ways and then they're using the crossing to walk across the busy street to get to their school. Yes, it's really important to follow the traffic signs just as video wrote here. And our last show and tell today is from Zuri and Kaden and it looks like they are doing an activity that has to do with all those emotions. Let me play the video. Zuri, can you show me the picture of Alo being sad? Which one shows Alo sad? Here, sad. Can you pick it up for me, please? Okay, Mary brought it here for you. Thank She found the sad Alo picture. Nice work, Zuri. Mmm, I hope Olo wasn't feeling sad for too long. It's okay to feel sad sometimes, and then I hope Olo found some things to cheer Olo up, maybe like going to school and seeing some friends or learning something new. 
Mm -hmm. I do too. Well, thank you so much, friends. That's all we have for today. So it's time for us to say goodbye for now. But it was wonderful reading the story and talking about school with all of you. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.